Do you want to create a page like this in your Shopify store and use it for your Instagram link in bio? If your answer is yes, I'm happy to tell you that in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page like this one without paying for any app or service. Hi there, I am Rehab and on this YouTube channel, I share with you videos related to e-commerce, entrepreneurship and more. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a link in bio page for your Shopify store. But before starting with our topic, I want to invite you first to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you step by step how you can create a sustainable, strong e-commerce business. I show you how you can attract, convert, and most importantly, retain your customers. So if you are interested in creating such a business, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up to this free workshop. It's 100% free, so you don't need to pay any dollar. And now let's get back to our topic and let's see how we are going to create our link in bio page. I will show you first how we can create this page using a paid theme called the symmetry theme. Then I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same thing using the down theme, which is Shopify free theme under Shopify online store 2.0. So make sure to watch this video up until the end. Thanks to Shopify Online Store 2.0, now we have much more ability to customize our pages. And I'm going to use these abilities in order to create this page for you. Creating this page directly in your Shopify store will help you to collect data through Facebook Pixel because you own the page you are using, you own the data collected by the Pixel. However, if you are using an app or a service to create this page, you will not be able to collect your visitors' information or data. So let me move to my screen to show you how you can create your link in bio page. So here I am inside of my Shopify account and from here I'm going to online store themes and I'm going to click on customize. The first thing I need to do is to create the template for my link in bio page. Since I'm going only to use this page on mobile view, so I'm going to start by only keeping the mobile view while creating this page. So from here I'm going to choose a mobile view. And from here, I'm going to choose pages to create my template. So it's under pages. And I'm going in here to create a new template. I will call it link in bio 2. And I will start based on my default page. If you don't know anything about Shopify Online 2.0, if you don't know anything about page templates and how they work, I recommend you to watch my previous tutorial about Shopify Online 2.0 so you can understand what I'm doing in here. I'm going now to click on Create Template. So now I have my page template. And as you can see, I have all of these elements. In order to have the look I'm searching for, I need to remove everything on this page and add the elements I want them in here. So I want my logo, the buttons, maybe a newsletter subscription box, and this is it. So the first thing I need to do is to go in here and to hide this section in here so I don't want to see my page. Then I want to go in here to click on add section and I will add a custom content section I will remove all the blocks inside of, inside of it because I'm not going to use them and I will be adding my own code. So I'm going to click on add block and I will add custom liquid. I need you to click in here and inside of this custom liquid, I need you to add a code that I will be linking to in the description below. Just go down to the description and click on the link and you will get access to the code file. I just need you to copy the code and put it in here. And this code would be enough to hide the header, to hide the footer and to hide everything inside of this page. So I'm going in here to my sheet. I'm going to copy all of this from here. And I'm going back and I'm going to paste it. As simple as that. So when I do that, as you can see now, my page is blank. I don't have any more, neither the header, neither the footer, nothing, okay? I'm going to click on save. What I will do next is going back in here and now I will add my first section, okay? I need first to have a logo at the beginning, a header. So I'm going to click on add section. I will add image with text overlay. I will remove the text overlay. So I'm going in here to, sorry, I'm going in here to my section. I will select the image, which is my store logo. So let me scroll down until I find 
my store logo from here. So this is my store logo, I'm gonna add it. I will remove all the text from here because I only want my logo. So I'm going to remove everything. And I will remove the overlay, so I'm gonna put this no background. And that's it, I'm gonna save, now I have my logo. Now I will move into adding the buttons. So I'm going back and this time I will be, I will be adding a new custom content section. I will remove everything in there. So I'm gonna remove the blocks that they are already there. And I will move the section we used in order to hide the header and footer down. And in here, I will click on add a block and I will add a custom liquid again. And this time also, I want you to go back to my sheet and to copy the simple code from here. So you copy the code and you paste it in here. The things in bold here are the things that you need to modify. So if you want to link, for example, to, your, uh, to a special collection, you just need to modify the link in here and you modify the text in here. Okay, going back, I'm gonna click on save. And as you can see, I have my first button. Okay, I'm going back. I will create my second button, so the same idea, I will create a custom liquid. I will click, I will paste, and I will save. And I can keep doing this as much as I want until I have all the buttons I need. Save. Okay, let's say now I want to add a newsletter, so what I need to do is to go back in here to add a new section, and this time it would be a newsletter section. So I'm going to click on show more and it's the new letter section. I'm going to move it up. Now, if you want to change the color of the button, you need to go back in here and in here, you just change this. You change the color from here. This is the color. And if you want to change the font size, you change it from here, if you wish to. If you change the alignment, also you change it from here and so on. So as you can see now with few clicks, I have created my link in bio page. The last thing I need to do is to create my actual link in bio page. So I'm going back in here to my Shopify dashboard and under pages, I'm going to click on add a page. I will call it link in bio trial. And from here, I should be assigning the link in bio template to this page. And this is it. Now I have a link in bio page for my Shopify store directly created inside of Shopify. So my pixel is working and my pixel is collecting the data and collecting everything happening on this page. Now let's see how things change a little bit if you are using the down theme. So from here, instead of adding a custom section, you will be directly adding custom liquid, which is an option provided by the down theme. So you can simply add directly custom liquid. In order to remove everything on this page, I have added this code, the same one we have used before. In order to add the buttons, I have added the same code we have used before also. And in order to add the image, I also used the custom liquid and I added this custom liquid. You will find it inside of this sheet also if you want to add your image directly in here. You just need to change the URL of the image and you can change the width if you wish. And that's it. So I did the same thing. I simply created a page template, which is link in bio. I added my first custom liquid directly. This custom liquid will remove everything on the page, will hide everything on the page. Then after that, I added my buttons one after the other. And first I added the image using this code from here. Okay, and don't forget to hide the page content. After creating your page template, you just need to go to your Shopify dashboard and create your link and bio page, and that's it. If you want to know more about Shopify Online 2.0 and how you can profit from this big update in order to create a better store or maybe in order to optimize your current store, I highly recommend you to check this playlist. In this playlist, you will find multiple how-to tutorials that will help you to learn how you can use this new update in the best way possible. Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. Before leaving, I want to invite you one last time to sign up to my free workshop. Remember, in this free workshop, I show you step by step how you can create a sustainable, strong e-commerce business. I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and in order to be able to attract 
convert and always retain your old customers. So if you are interested, don't forget to go down to the description and to sign up to this free workshop. It's 100% free, so you don't need to pay anything. So that's it for this video. Before leaving, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you soon. Bye bye.